straight to Pokemon Stadium 2 for the first game. This is the matchup we see a lot more often in my side of the island than here. Yeah, uh, we we don't have any top level um, Pephras. That's um, quite of a weird rare sight, I would say. One of the key things that's going to be very important for Peach in this situation is getting and abusing uh, Pyra and Mithras very bad disadvantage. But conversely, Pyra and Mithras do the exact same thing to Peach, where they both kind of just blow each other up at disadvantage. But Peach will find an easier time killing killing Aegis off stage due to Toad, using turn ups to pressure. Float really forces out jumps early. Turnip will not find a hit here, but now Smash will find the KO. And a very early lead for part of the lane. So just 44%, very good. Um, Thomas sticking with the Pyro. Um, cool, I guess. Obviously, I think the mobility of Mimra would help a lot. Oh, that's the SD at 0%. That is unfortunate to happen. But right now, Ling is not one to let up the pressure. He's going to keep trying to build up this damage. Raw. <laughs> That's a Tama off smash. Oh. Tama's no stranger to reverse three stocks. So let's see if he can actually make this happen and stay calm. He's one of those players that's really hard to shake mentally. Yep. But it's a very big hill to climb here. But he's starting to dig into it. This would be a, a two stock game had he not you know, killed himself at... Uh, Zero percent. Quite literally. Downer will not find the spike, but it'll send him back off stage. Pyra putting up the ledge pressure, but now Ling manages to reverse the situation and get Pyra back off stage. But let's see. No punish on the up B on stage, but Ling is pretty comfortable right now to take this game. But the downer finally taking the stock. 119 percent for part of Tama. It could be quite late for Tama unless he does like a very strong reverse. Nair out of shield will find the KO. No more miss inputs on those Nair foot on those Nair float cancels out of shield. Ling takes game one, but Tama was definitely not out of it. Had he not had a steed, that could have been a very different game. So let's see if he maybe runs it back. Quite likely, you know that momentum that you were talking about is very important. You know, it's still best out of three. It's still semis. So it can be quite demoralizing by losing the game because USD. On. All right, Tom, I'm feeling confident with Aegis. He's normally a person that loves counterbreaking, but checking out with Aegis, he's confident that he can get this. It was very close, so it's not like he got blown out. That SD definitely did change the outcome of the game. So let's see if he can find something, make something happen here in game two on Hollow Bastion, which is considered to be Pyra and Mithra's best stage. Starting off with a 50% lead, Link. Now just getting hit by Mithra. You know that once you get hit, once you'll be getting put in a very bad state of disadvantage. Her amazing mobility, getting stuck at the ledge link, but getting in there and I'm with 80%. Also, bro, you know what is this? This is for some baby. You know what is this? No, 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 no. When you look at the players, they're. Wholesome, wholesome tabu, wholesome pedo, please. <laughs> Alright, ladies and gentlemen, coming back into the game. Pyre. Tama has definitely found his way back, but that turn up snipe will find the KO. There's no chance of you coming back to that, even with the jump. So, just go to the last zone, go back to the stock. That is an SD on uh, Link's yeah, part. Yeah. Seems that this set is making them both quite nervous. Ling has to play with some sense of urgency knowing that he knows dropping a game in game two really shifts the momentum of the set in favor of your opponent. But right now he's getting all this damage up, but Tama finds his way out of this advantage again. Putting up the damage little by little, 28% to 51, 41 to 51. Again, we're now we're right even the force match on the attempted air dodge. It's not gonna happen, but 
It sends the message that Tama is not afraid right now. The Nair will hit, but right now, Ling is trying to keep the disadvantage loop on Tama, but no punish again on the upbeat. This definitely starts to pay attention to those. Back air will not kill just yet. Side B Raw will come out. It'll catch the air dodge and set her back off stage. Right now, Ling is in a very bad position. He knows that he dies to the next Raw hit that Pyra swings at her. Peach is a light character, so she's not going to be able to live those through a lot long, even with Pyra's a bit average of kill power outside of her confirms. Back throw will not find the KO just yet, but put it at 171. The next Nair, the next back of the next anything, really, will find the KO, but same thing applies for Aegis with Max Rage. And the dash attack will be able to take it. Finally getting able to get, you know, on Pyra's range. <laughs> Downer, the Tama Downer is on platform. And of course, we find one of... Guys. Oh, okay. Um, what do you think of lost audio? Yeah, I get the uh, no sir. But Down break. Ah, uh, no, todavía no tomo agua. Me cago en random, cabrón. Me tumbó el, me cago en random, cabrón. Me, me tumbó el fucking audio. Se ve. Okay. Throwing baby. <laughs> so, no, cabrón. Rob Upper está. Cabrón, como queda rota roto. Papi. Ah, uh, 
Que pasó? No puedo hacer, no están jugando. Link llegando a cuarto, cabrón. Imagínate eso, ese timeline. 